Hello, I'm Lene Balkan, a business unit leader for content at Here Technologies, and I'm here at CES together with Andy. Hi, I'm Andy Gill. I'm the COO at Simulitic, a Siemens AG venture. So, Andy, yes. as we are here at CES, and it's all about innovation and excitement, what excites you the most in what you do in your day-to-day -day job and what you do actually with Simulitic? Sure, so we're Simulitic, so we're part of Siemens. We're set up as a venture in order okay. to help in, uh, insurance understand the risk when an AV, an, AV, an autonomous vehicle, yeah. is being deployed. So it's really exciting, it's a new business for us, it's a new customer set for us with insurers. And the way that we're doing this is we're looking to provide a consistent, a evidence-based, a neutral understanding of the risk of an autonomous vehicle deployment before it hits the road. So the insurance is able to pri uh, appropriately price that premium. Okay, so it's also cutting edge work that Indeed. you're doing. For it's, sure, which is why we're here. Yes, absolutely. So uncharted territory. So when we are talking about charts and maps, how does location technology help you with that? So location is critical, super critical. So everything we're looking at is ultra local, hyper local. We're looking at the deployment location of these autonomous vehicles. So we need highly accurate maps for where these AVs are going to be deployed. Otherwise, our simulation, our anal analytics, won't work properly, so it has to be, is fundamentally. Yeah, it's very interesting because we always look at how can we make cars drive autonomously and you are looking at the risk uh, aspect of it, right? Exactly. So if you then look at the value of all of that together, can you give me a couple of thoughts on how you see this? Sure, so yeah, you're right. We're looking at the deployment location, we're looking at the driving risk and the behavior of that AV and everything else in that location. So we need the map, we need, it needs to be accurate so that we can have the AV driving in the appropriate lane. Yeah. We need to have the other vehicles, the other pedestrians moving on relevant roads and, and pavements. We need the weather data, the local data, we yes. need the local traffic data. So everything local is crucial and that's where we're working with DIA in order to provide particularly the map data as a starting point. Yeah, because it's also a different level of complexity that you're being confronted with, right? Because you need to bring all these parameters together yeah. in order to create that risk assessment because that has a, a huge impact on liabilities. Let us call it what it is. Exactly. So within that fast moving environment, how, what do you see at the biggest risks? Like what are the complexities that you are being confronted with? Sure. So I guess maybe because we've chosen to target the insurance as our, as our go-to market, as our customer base, we see them as the actually an enabler of accelerating AV deployment. Yeah, so you see it right now, there's lots of standards or lack of standards actually. Um, there's a lack of public trust potentially in these AVs. The insurers have a really crucial role that they can play to actually say, look, I'm insuring these guys. You trust me, we do insurance for everything. I'm insuring them, they're safe. So we're working to provide that risk data to the insurer to actually enable, hopefully, AVs to scale quicker. Yeah. Um, and that's going to ultimately lead to a much safer and a much better um, world, actually, for all of us. I mean, that's a few years away, yeah, but yeah. that's ultimately where we're going with this. But that's also what's interesting, right? Because we are also looking at scaling out yep. the data to support the actual driving. So it's always nice to be in a long-term partnership as like what we are in, yes. because there's going to be a lot of evolution for both of us, so that means that we have both a very exciting journey in front of us, right? For sure, absolutely. Super, thank you very much. Thank Andy. you.